Welcome back. It's time for another quick bite and another student recipe. We have our last student, last but definitely not <laughs> least, right? <laughs> so today we have Jaren with us, and Jaren is a nutrition minor senior, so close to being done. And um, today he's going to share with us one of his... Grandma's, Grandma's recipes. recipes. <laughs> um, yeah, so today we're making banana bread baked oats. It's a pretty simple recipe. It's a good recipe to have in the mornings. Uh, pair it with a good protein source like a protein shake, or you can take it out on the go in between meals and have a snack later in the afternoons. Um, so we're going to start here. Everything goes into one pan, minimal dishes here. We're going to take three mashed bananas, just straight in there. Get them all in there. So Jaren has those all mashed up, and um, what I love about this recipe is that no bowl, no bowl, less <laughs> straight dishes, into the pan. love it. Then we're gonna go to three whisked eggs or scrambled eggs, straight in there. And then we're adding two and a half cups of oats here. These oats are high in fiber. Um, and then this recipe is also dairy free. So from the fiber, we can see that we can re reduce blood sugar, um, cholesterol, as well as blood pressure. And then we're using almond milk here, two cups. Which makes it dairy free. Yes. Um, and then we're going to go with two teaspoons of baking powder. Nice and simple right in there. So with this recipe as well, could be customizable. Um, and if you don't want to use almond milk, you could just use regular milk, but almond milk works great. Mm -hmm. It's just that dairy-free option. A couple things to finish it up here. We're just going to do a splash of vanilla. That's my ish going in there. <laughs> Did I teach him that? Oh, no. Oh, Probably. no. <laughs> Couple shakes of cinnamon. Uh, this one just depends on how cinnamon flavor you would like it. Get it in there, decent amount for us today. And then, final honey, we're going to go with two tablespoons. And again, or a couple my ish. Squeezes. Yes. For that added sweetness. Finish that off right here. We're just going to take our rubber spatula, mix it all up, get a good mix going. So this recipe, um, when it is baked, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so uh, after Jaren does get it all mixed together, it will go in the oven. Uh, for 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So with that, um, once he gets it, it baked, you would put it in the oven mm -hmm. and it is gonna come out like this. This recipe works really well. You can cut it into bars. Mm -hmm. And as Jaren was explaining it to me, you can eat it as breakfast or um, you can even just cut it into bars and use it as a snack. Mm -hmm. But we have Indeed. to put our finishing touch on. Yes, right here we have dark chocolate chips and we're just gonna take about a half a cup of this on top and spread them around. You can definitely add more if you would like to. Um, dark chocolate is a healthier option compared to the milk chocolate and heart healthy. So that is a good option to have um, with your snacks throughout the day. So for this recipe, just as a kind of an overview, good fiber, mm -hmm. um, good with helping reduce cholesterol. Mm -hmm. A couple other things, can you add to it? Um, dairy free, and then we have our bananas right here, which is a good source of potassium to get throughout the day. Um, and then that fiber will be um, helping you feel fuller for longer when you're so, having it for breakfast. Yeah, great breakfast, uh, great snacks, and um, just cutting them into squares, eat them at room temperature. Mm -hmm. You can eat them eat warmed them up. up. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just a really great recipe. So thank you, Grandma, right? <laughs> yes, yes, thank you, Grandma. Yes.